In this video, we check out the cab, safety features, and the new upgrades on the Ford Transit chassis of our Leisure Travel Vans Wonder. And we'll show you some of the extras we've already added for our RV lifestyle. And Jennifer takes the wheel to give her opinions on our new home away from home. We've only had our new RV for a month now, but as we've been getting to know it, we've been sharing that with you, and so it will be in this video. Mike, start us out with the cab and the things you've been adding. Okay, we are in the cab of our uh, brand new Wonder Leisure Travel Van Rear Twin Bed Model. Now, if you are just tuning into this video, we did a part one uh, that was the previous video to this where we took you on the outside and the inside from one end of the motorhome part to the next. We ran out of time in that one and um, left the cab and the chassis part uh, for this second review, which this one is. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features, the safety features that Ford has put in the new Transit, the 2020 Transit. And then I'll show you, uh, we'll actually start with some of the extras that I have added. And uh, I'm still not done. There's extra, uh, there's extra extras coming in a couple of weeks, and we'll do videos that'll show that later. But I want to first begin this by telling you that the 2020 Ford Transit chassis, that's what this is on, it's called the cutaway chassis, which is used uh, to build the motorhome. The motorhome part is actually uh, a box that they construct, and they put right on the back. And uh, it's all set there, and we did that tour. This is the cab, and uh, the cutaway chassis, if you don't know what that is, it's just like a rail. It's, it goes all the way back, and then they build the box, and they put the box on top of it. Technically, this is the Class C motorhome. And I gave you some of the specs and the engine and all that stuff in the previous video. We want to just talk about the redesigned cab and some of the safety features and our accessories. Ready? Now, um, I also need to point out that this was a big change for Ford. Just as the 2019 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter was a sea change in terms of features being added for new motorhomes, so is the Ford 2020 Transit chassis, a big change from previous Ford Transits used for motorhomes. There's lots of new features on this. Let's start, though, with some of the things we added. The first one's a really simple one, and it's over here. And it's uh, simply the um, phone cup that I use, the phone cup holder. It's a cup holder. Uh, you've seen these advertised. This is from WeatherTech. And uh, there's different sizes that'll fit every size cup holder on a dashboard. This one, I found one of them that fits perfectly in here. Now, I'm not giving up much. There are six cup holders in this cab. Uh, there's another one right below the one I'm using for my phone. And, and there's plenty of room for a bottle. There are two in the center console. And there are two on the passenger side. So we're not losing anything. You see there's a, um, a power cord here. That's what I plug my phone in, and that way it's always being charged as we're driving. Uh, first, let's follow that, and you'll see a little indentation in the dash, and you see where that USB cable plugs in there, plugs in and powers it. Now, that cable not only charges the phone, but it then hooks up with the Ford entertainment system. In particular, the big entertainment screen that Ford has redesigned for this. Look at the size of the screen. It's big, it's convenient, it's bright. It's, I really like this uh, entertainment screen. Ford has a navigation system, and it's a great navigation system. We've used it. However, I'm spoiled. I like using Waze, the app called Waze, W-A-Z-E. And I use Waze almost exclusively for my navigation. Waze is kind of like the CB radio of apps without any of the noise. There's no audio on Waze, except every now and then a nice pleasant voice will tell you slow down or traffic on route or as a hazard, but you're not communicating by voice with other people. But other people are sort of crowdsourcing the traffic that you encounter. So you'll get notices about uh, hazards on the road, uh, potholes, traffic jams ahead, police ahead. Uh, it's really a handy, and it's in it, and I love the way it will automatically update my route if something happens that's going to be a big delay. 
Sometimes I use, uh, sometimes I will also use uh, Google uh, Maps. Sometimes I will also use um, Siri for directions. Um, and sometimes I use the, the Ford system, but mostly Waze. And also, uh, because I have my iPhone connected there, I can run all of my favorite apps, like my podcast apps. We love to listen to podcasts. There's so many on. And it, it's through the excellent speakers and the Ford Entertainment System. We can play our own music, uh, so we can bring our own playlist for our road trips. Uh, we can also um, just uh, use uh, different apps that are in there. Like uh, we like iHeartRadio, so we can listen to some of our favorite radio stations in different parts of the country, uh, wherever we are, through that app. So that's the, the first thing I did, is I had that little tiny cup. I don't even know how much it costs, not very much. Uh, and it's a really convenient thing because it lets me do everything hands-free. And uh, even answering phones works with the Ford Entertainment System. Now, let's um, go back to this little indentation up here in the middle of the dash. You see that uh, cigarette lighter uh, adapter, it looks like, it's a 12 volt adapter? Well, that is actually the power connection for the next big thing we got. And that takes us to this. This is my new dash cam system for this transit. This is the Blackview DR9005 two channel. Now, it's an incredible system. I had it actually on my um, the Unity uh, Leisure Travel Vans unit that we used to own. But when I sold it, I, I gave it to the new owner. So I installed a new one. Two channels. What does that mean? Well, it means it has two cameras. The first is mounted uh, on the windshield and facing forward. It is an ultra high def, uh, beautiful, beautiful video, uh, wide angle, and it is constantly recording. It's powered by that cigarette adapter I showed you, and it shows exactly what we're seeing out the windshield. And it records to a mini um, uh, SD card, and it records about a day and a half, and then it will re record over that. So you always have fresh video. If you do get in an accident, and that's one of the reasons to have one of these, to document what's going on. If you do get in an accident, uh, that will, uh, you know, the jarring will be sensed by, um, by the camera and it will save that clip. So you always have it. It won't get written over. It is two channels. I said that's the first camera. But then down here, underneath the entertainment system, is a second camera. And that one is facing backwards. And it records Jennifer and me as we're driving. And it's in sync with the video that's being shot. Uh, out the front. Both uh, the cameras record audio, so you can you can uh, disable that if you want. Obviously, I use this as a big part of my uh, vlogging as we document our trips with video. I'm always showing our dash cam video, and sometimes I'll even do a little talking like this with Jennifer and me. So we, we do have that, and uh, I really like that system. I was able to mount, uh, hide the wires, and mount it neatly. And it's, uh, as I said, it's automatically, it goes on when I turn the ignition on and starts recording. I really like that system. So that is uh, option number two that I install. Number three is right up above, see, up above the entertainment system is this monitor. Now the name of this one is Voyager. And quite frankly, there are a million of them. They're almost all made by the same people with just different brands. I got this from Holland Motorhomes in Holland, Michigan. Uh, they had a couple of systems like this. I picked this one. I like the looks of the screen. And when we bought our RV and when we were going to pick it up, uh, I said, hey, before we pick it up, install it. So they installed this system. Uh, I like it. It uh, gives me a complete view, uh, always out the back. Uh, and I have a great view of the road behind me. But I like, and Jennifer in particular, likes to see the full road behind us. So we got this. We had a system just like this on our previous model. We left that for the new owners, and that was the first thing we had installed. They did a little neater job installing it than I had done, so I'm, I'm thrilled with that. It's actually mounted right behind a little uh, cover that protects the forward crash detection uh, information that uh, the transit has. It's, it's based on the windshield you know, facing out. So this is right behind it. doesn't interfere with at all uh, anything you're seeing. So I can look up at that and it's like a rear view mirror. And yes, I do have a rear view mirror, but the only thing that shows is the rear of the motor coach. So every now and then I'll tilt that down and I can see Bo where he is if he's laying back down there. 
I do turn that monitor off at night because uh, the glare of lights can really be pretty annoying. Now there is another option that I want to show you. And this really is, uh, is probably only interesting uh, to those of you who like to do what we do and vlog for YouTube, but I'll show it. It is a third camera that is up here on the dash. And this is our brand new GoPro Hero Black 8 uh, with the media module. I know I'm getting geeky tech here, but uh, I know somebody will be asking me about it because a lot of you do like to do these, these videos. I'm actually speaking to you right now through the built-in shotgun, high-quality shotgun mic on the GoPro. I don't have any wireless. I don't need it. it. It really does a nice job of recording. It's mounted on one of the GoPro mounts on the dashboard just above the camera. And if you look real carefully, you can probably see the top edge of the camera right in there. Uh, but it does a nice job, and I can turn it on and off with uh, voice commands. And uh, I use that for our video. So when you see us doing like this, talking, it's more times than not, it's the GoPro that's recording it. And yes, I have more GoPros. I actually have three more. Some I'll put on the roof, some I have in the far back, uh, some I'll mount on the side. Also, we can give you different video uh, perspectives as uh, we're doing our reports on our travels. So those are the options I've installed. Now, let's take a look at the dashboard. There's a lot under the hood and uh, behind the scenes that you can't necessarily see. But let's start with the upgraded engine features in 2020. Direct injection, auto stop-start technology, and a 10-speed automatic transmission. We have the optional intelligent all-wheel drive, which is new this year for Leisure Travel Vans. Other chassis features include electric power-assisted steering, four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes, and a system that can alert you if it senses the potential collision with a vehicle in front of you. A display flashes on the windshield, and it provides an audible warning. If you don't react in time, the brakes will pre-charge and increase brake assist, and then provide full responsiveness when you do brake. It has a lane-keeping system that helps you stay in your lane, even during a tiny moment of distraction. This smart feature scans your vehicle's position between the lines and the road ahead, and it can alert you if you're starting to edge out of your lane. And there's some other features here. Anti-theft system. It has an engine immobilizer. A post-crash alert system. Tire pressure monitoring system. And side wind stabilization. Now it's my turn. On the previous Ford Transit that we had, just the passenger seat swiveled around. But on the 2020 model, they both do. Let me show you how it works. See this yellow lever here? Here, I'll come over here and I'll move the seat that I was sitting on. Let me move, pull this. So I'm going to grab hold of this yellow lever and look at how easy this is. It works so easy, I just turn it around. Now we're ready to go. So when you need four seats, turn them around. Anybody can do this. I can do this. You don't have to be super strong. They, these work so great. And now, not only the passenger, but the driver's seat on the Ford does this. So we turn these around and we have lots of seating capabilities and it's easy to work. I should have pointed out that this uh, transit does have a, a rear camera. Uh, it uh, goes on uh, whenever you put the uh, vehicle in reverse, but as soon as you put it into drive, it, uh, it stops uh, showing. And that's why we got this one up here, so that we can always find uh, our way, and there's always a view. Stop. Now, before we end this video, we're going to give you a different perspective, and uh, Jennifer is going to take the wheel and uh, she's going to talk about what she thinks about this wonder. All right. I like the Ford chassis and I'm looking forward to driving it. All right. Let's swap places. Oh, easier said than done here. It is easier said than done. All right. Thanks for oh, going thanks back. For no, Bo, you can't come up. Bo wants to come up. Get myself over here. Trust me. <laughs> get in our Bo? seats fast because Bo? Bo will get in them. You get back, boy. Get back, big guy. Come on, get back. Back. Onward and upward. Alright. You comfortable? This. I'm comfortable. I got this in drive. Oh, 
Wow, this acceleration from a dead stop is uh, much more responsive and quicker than from our diesel engines that we've had in the past. I love the way it handles this uh, power assist electric steering. It's, it drives like an SUV. I'm not a big fan of this lane keeping assist, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. And I'm sure at night it's a good thing to have when you start drifting off. Yeah, it, it kind of like vibrates the wheel. Yeah. And you get like, uh, you want to overcompensate. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan. It scares me sometimes when it goes off. But uh, like I say, we'll get used to it. We'll get used to it. What really impresses me is how quiet and smooth this is. It's not nearly as bumpy as our other RVs, and it's so quiet in here. I'm, we can talk to each other without any problem. Yeah, we used to have to yell. Kind of shout a little bit or give up after a while. Now, this unit runs on gas. Our others all ran on diesel. So we're not getting the mileage that we did with the diesel. But I think that will get better in time. And yeah. if nothing else, the gas doesn't cost as much as diesel. Yeah, we're getting, I've only had, you know, one fill up. So it's uh, 12 and a half miles a gallon. Um, but they say that as this thing breaks in, that that'll get better. We only got about 14 and a half miles on our diesel RV. So this is going to be fine, I think. I think it will be too. And this really does run like an SUV. I can't believe how comfortable this is to drive the steering wheel. It's, it's really nice. And and uh, another thing about gas is it's easier to find the diesel. Right. So. We're not going to have a diesel crisis. I do wish this had the blind spot detector. That is such a safety feature that I've grown to depend upon. And I, I really like it when I drive something big like this. It's just such a security blanket for me. And I hope that someday Ford will add that to their cutaway chassis. Yeah, they, for some reason, because it's wider and it's and they don't know what people are going to put on the back, uh, they don't put blind assist on the cutaway chassis. They do on the regular chassis. Um, there is, though, I remember in our other one, we got, this thing really does pick up, doesn't it? Uh, our last one that we had, uh, we, we bought that option. And if you really want it, we can probably, uh, it's about a thousand bucks, but we could uh, do a, you know, a, aftermarket addition to that if, if we really think we need it. Yeah, well, I mean, the mirrors are great, but yeah, we'll see. I, um, you know, I, I need all the help I can get. It makes me feel more comfortable. And everybody, it seems like this is the future. Anything that we can do to make it safer out there when we're all driving. I wouldn't feel comfortable driving this without this always on camera that we have. I know I've got great mirrors, but I do like looking back and seeing what's behind me and who's behind me. I like to see what's going on behind me. Okay, my bottom line, I really am comfortable driving this. It drives so easy. I think it's the easiest to drive of anything that we've ever had. And I can't wait to get started and go have some adventures. Me too. Me too. So that completes our two-part review and our reveal of our new Ford Transit-based Wonder RV. And we're not done yet with the extras, so stay tuned. In fact, uh, this just came for you today. And uh, that's from, let's see, Midland Radio? What's this about? Something with two-way radios? <laughs> Uh, it's another project, and uh, if this uh, this works out the way I think, it could be very interesting. So stay tuned. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendlin, and please give this video a thumbs up. And when you do so, please subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. And when you do that, be sure to click the little bell icon to be notified on new videos. Thanks for watching, and happy trails.